Hello everyone. Now we will see one question that is find the center of gravity of the given structure of a uniform wire. Now in this it is not a area it is the combination of wires means different wires are joined and we have this structure. Now we have to find out the center of gravity not the centroid. So when we have to find out the center of gravity of an object we will not bother about the area. Now if I have to find out the center of gravity what I can do I have to divide the complete structure into a number of wires I can say if wire 1, wire 2, wire 3, 4, 5 and 6 now I can say there are 6 wires which are combined together just to make the given structure now this was 1 its centroid will lie here because wire is uniform so same here for this we can find out the centroid directly here but when a case of curved part is there a semicircle is there its centroid will lie here or the center of gravity will lie here outside the object it will not lie inside outside so there is a formula i will tell you that also so what we do first of all we will find out the length of each x1 y1 for each now let's say this is the first as i have taken here so for first what is the length i can say this is l1 l1 is this so in the diagram you can say the radius 1000 is rotated so l1 will be 1000 mm now what will be x1 the origin is here so it means this part of object that will have x value minus but this part will have x value positive but y will have all values positive because y is upward so in this way we will find out the value of x1 and y1 so for this object this will be x1 so what will be x1 half of the length so that is 1000 so it will be 1000 by 2 so that is what 500 mm so this is the value of x1 same we will find out the value of y1 so what will be y1 we know that y1 is the value in the direction of y from x axis so this line is on x axis no gap from x axis so y1 is 0 now we will go for the second that is l2 now this is the second so what is the value of this length of this now this is the semicircle we know that circumference of a circle that is 2 pi r now this is the semicircle so it will be 2 pi r by 2 so this will be pi r only so it will be pi r r we know that is 1000 so this is 3.14 multiplied by 1000 and we are getting the value of l2 that is equal to 3140 mm now we will see what is the value of x2 in this diagram you can see x2 the distance in the direction of x from y axis so the centroid will lie on the y axis so no gap so x2 will be 0 here so x2 is 0 now what will be y2 for this we cannot use the 4 r by 3 pi if this was the semicircle and we find out this this was 4 r by 3 pi we find out in centroid but in this case there is no closed surface only a wire is there so for that case we will use the formula centroid for y axis the centroid will be 2 r by pi so remember this it will be 2 r by pi so what will be that 2 into r that is 1000 divided by pi that is 3.14 so we are getting the value that is 636.94 mm now this is second now the third that is l3 so what is l3 this part so what is the value of this part from this to this it is 1000 so this part is 500 so the remaining part is 500 so l3 is 500 mm now we have to find out the x3 so this is x3 this distance is x3 so what will be this distance this plus half of this that will be x3 so how we calculate this this distance we know that that is 500 given here 500 this plus half of this that is also 500 so it is 500 plus 500 divided by 2 that is 250 so it is 750 mm but it is in negative direction so we will say it is minus so you can say in this way this is minus 500 and minus you can do in that way also directly after taking minus then or you can say minus value is there so minus 500 minus 500 by 2 in this way also both are same so what is y3 for this 
so y3 is 0 because no gap in the direction of y so let's see l4 now what is l4 we have taken in the diagram this part is l4 so this distance we have this distance directly 400 so we will say this is 400 l4 is 400 now what is x4 x4 means we want to find out from this point how much this gap it will be again minus negative side so it will be same this distance that is what 500 but it will be minus 500 now what will be y4 y4 will be this upward distance this is y4 so it will be half of this so what is this 400 so it will be 400 divided by 2 but it will be positive because y is in upward direction so upward is positive l5 so l5 is this one again l5 is directly given 500 so what is x5 x5 is this distance now we know this distance half of this directly but minus so we can say minus 500 by 2 so this is minus 250 and what is y5 y5 is this distance and it is directly given 400 so no need to calculate that is directly 400 mm now we will go for l6 now this part is l6 so what is l6 this part directly given 400 so l6 is 400 mm and what is x6 in the direction of x from y axis no distance so this is 0 so what is y6 so y6 is from this point how much gap this one means half of this so we have 400 divided by 2 that is 200 mm so in this way we get all the values of l1 to l6 x1 to x6 and y1 to y6 now we will fill the values in the formula we know that what is the formula for this x bar that is equal to l1 x1 plus l2 x2 plus l3 x3 plus l4 x4 plus l5 x5 plus l6 x6 divided by on the lens l1 plus l2 plus l3 plus l4 plus l5 plus l6 now in this equation we are using length in place of area in centroid we were using that if it is given the mass of the object then we will say mass but here the length is given so directly we are taking now i am filling the value x bar that is equal to l1 that is 1000 into x1 that is 500 plus l2 that is 3140 into x2 that is 0 plus l3 that is 500 into x3 that is minus 750 plus l4 that is 400 into x4 that is minus 500 plus l5 that is 500 into x5 that is minus 250 plus l6 that is 400 into x6 that is 0 complete divided by l1 1000 plus 3140 plus 500 plus 400 plus 500 and the last one l6 that is 400 now when we calculate we are getting the value of x bar that is equal to minus 33.7 mm and similarly we will calculate the y bar So after calculation, solving and dividing, we are getting the value of y bar that is equal to 397 ml.